Hello there, welcome or welcome back to my channel, or if you're here, hi, my name is Samantha and this is my channel where I talk all about books. Anyway, today is actually New Year's Day, so a happy new year, happy 2024. I can't believe it, but I also can, you know, at the same time, I'm like, how? but also like it, it it makes sense. But in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about all of my bookish goals for 2024, as well as reflecting on my goals from 2023 and seeing if I completed them. So today's video is just gonna be the bookish goals. I do plan on doing a personal goals video. If you're interested in that, that will be up after this one. Yeah, we're just gonna go over all of my goals from 2023 and see if I completed them. And then we're gonna chat about the goals for 2024. So I did actually post a video about this last year and if you're interested in going back and watching that you can do so I'll link it up in the card but I'm not going to be like reacting to that video I'm just going to be looking at the goals so my first goal was to post once a week and that definitely did not happen I was not like the worst ever at posting last year but I definitely was not posting once a week there was a time I think it was in March where I was in a bit of a reading slump and I think I only posted one video it was just a very busy year with wedding planning and like I had my job was still quite new to me and like like trying to find the way to balance everything. Spoiler, there isn't a way to balance everything. It is impossible. I need to cut something out of my life, but there's nothing I can cut out. So I'm still struggling with this, but it's fine. Yeah, I did not post once a week. There were some months where I probably did, but for the most part, I think I always missed at least one week and that's fine. It is what it is. I would love to be consistent. I'm trying to be as consistent as possible, but it's just one of those things. It's not always possible. The next goal that I had was to get my physical TBR down to 10 books and that should as hell did not happen because I got so many books from the library that we were getting rid of which I took home with me because I was wanted to give it a good home and also I did buy a few books but not a ton but I did buy some and I also got some books for my birthday so I also have to add those on okay so I ended the year with 39 books on my TBR it's always a bit rough having my birthday just there when I get books for it because I'm like that's not fair because that's gonna take away from my goals but there's nothing I can do about it but obviously I'm still very grateful for getting books like I'm not gonna complain but yeah 39 is nowhere near 10 but also other thing is that I do work in in a library so I borrow the majority of my books which is amazing so I just haven't been reading the books that I own as much and I've also been using my kindle a lot so yeah I need to work on that but like I'm not I'm not that bothered by that because I know that like it makes sense I haven't been going crazy with buying books but I just haven't been reading the books that I own and that's okay I'm, I'm not that bothered the next goal that I had was to read one book I wanted to really kind of focus on quality over quantity so I decided to set myself the goal of just one book I actually ended up reading 87 books so I definitely completed that Goal. However, I will say that I was not focusing on quality clearly because I had a terrible reading year, as you'll find out in my upcoming reading stats video, which will be going up in a few days. Yeah, I really wanted to focus on quality, but I was just there were so many things happening in the library, like so many books that got returned, and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. So I'd give it a go and then it would be shit. Or I also had quite a few themed reading vlogs that I wanted to do, and those were not always the most successful in terms of the ratings. I did read one book, but I, I did not enjoy that many of them so the quality aspect was not there the quantity definitely was <laughs> the next goal that I had was to host a readathon and I did it was a complete flop but I did actually do that I'm proud because I had been a goal for about two years because I'd come up with the idea such a long time beforehand so yeah I hosted a Jonas Brothers themed readathon because I kind of love the Jonas Brothers and I just thought it was gonna be like fun and silly so I decided to host one and I had fun with it it happened to fall on a really bad week for me because it was the week that Alex was getting his surgery so I was really busy and stressed so I barely read anything and nobody else participated but that's okay I still hosted the readathon so I'm taking it off the list it still happened the next rule that I had was to work on my digital TBR and I'd say I probably did do this I was definitely really good about reading on my Kindle so yeah I'd say I did work on my digital TBR definitely decreased it I've definitely added some things too but like that's just how it goes and like I said I don't really mind as long as I am reading those things at some point I don't really mind if it grows a bit the next goal that I had was to read at least 50% adult books and I definitely did this. I think it was way more than that. I read 60.5% adult books and 14% new adult books. That's a total of 74.5% adult or new adult books which is what I wanted. I really don't want to read YA very much anymore. It's not my jam. I say as I sit in front of YA books but let's pretend like I'm not. Yeah, 
I mostly read adult books now or new adults and I'm very happy with that. I'm happy that I'm not reading as much young adult because I kept on trying because it was what I used to love but it's just not what I like anymore. That's not to say I'll never read a YA book again because I definitely will but like I definitely want to read more adult new adult books rather than young adult. The next rule I had was to read five historical fiction books because I love historical fiction but I'm so bad about actually reading it. However, I did actually complete this. I think I read more than five yeah, apparently I read seven historical fiction books in the year, so definitely completed that. However, I still feel like I didn't read that much, so this is maybe something I need to continue working on in the new year. The next goal that I had for myself was to read one nonfiction book a month, and I think I did complete this. I didn't necessarily read one every month, but I did read 12 nonfiction books throughout the year, so I'm counting that. That's what I meant, like ideally one a month, but like obviously sometimes you're not in the mood, and sometimes you're in the mood for loads of nonfiction, so it evened out to one a month, and that's that works for me. The next goal that I had was to do some themed reading vlogs. I had a few in mind, some of which I did complete and some of which I didn't do but might do in the future. And I had some which came out of nowhere and I just decided to do them. Like for example, the video that I did where I read books that were recommended if you liked The Martian. The Martian is my favorite book ever. If you missed that video, I'll link it in the card and you can go check it out. Yeah, that was unplanned. That came to me just like on a whim and I decided to do it. And I'm really happy with how that video turned out. That's one of my favorite videos I've ever made. So yeah, I made quite a few themed reading vlogs and they were really fun. Sometimes the books were terrible but I think it's still it was a fun thing to do. I don't know how much I'll continue doing it in the new year because as I said some of the books were just truly garbage but maybe I'll do like themed vlogs but less like restrictive TBR. I don't know. Or I'll just do more research into the books that I'm planning to read and then hopefully it will be more successful in terms of rating. And the last goal I had was to read for 30 minutes before bed every day specifically in January just so that I would get into the habit and I did this. I actually did read every night before bed for half an hour. This is something that I would love to do again and hopefully continue. Because recently I've been in a bit of a reading slump so it's just been like really hard to motivate myself to actually pick up a book and I've been scrolling a lot more. So if I have this goal in my mind, maybe I'll actually do it instead of scrolling. Okay, so those are all of my goals for 2023. And now let's talk about my goals for 2024. So weird to be saying that. Once again, I'm gonna set myself the goal of posting a video once a week. However, I'm not gonna be super strict about it. It doesn't necessarily need to be one video a week. I will be okay if I just post four videos a month. So yeah, if I post around four videos a month, I will be over the moon. Is it gonna happen? I don't know. I hope so and we will see. That's my first goal. Try to be really consistent. Post once a week or four times a month. The next goal that I have is to get my physical TBR down to 20 which is about half of what it's currently at. I would love to have a smaller TBR. If you don't know the top two shelves of my bookshelf are TBR and it's, it's quite a lot so I would love to get that down. So yeah definitely I would like to try and focus on reading my physical TBR. I try not to think about it but sometimes I do and it just stresses me out. So if I could just have the number of books that are on my TBR, that would be amazing. The next goal that I have is kind of like my Goodreads goal. I've set it to 24 books, which obviously is just because the year is 2024. I think I'll probably read more than this, most likely, but I also think 24 is perfectly attainable. That's two books a month. So yeah, I hope that I'll read more than that, but I'm not gonna put a lot of pressure on myself. Last year, obviously I set it to just one because I was like, wanna focus more on quality. And I still want to maintain that goal of focusing on the quality rather than the quantity which is why I've said it's 24 because like I always knew I was going to read more than one book and I know that I'll probably read more than 24 books but I also like the idea of not having that pressure. The next goal that I have is more of a channel goal. Again, I would like to start posting lifestyle content. I've said this multiple times and it's never happened but I'm always like oh I really want to change my channel up a bit and do some more lifestyle content because I basically just love watching lifestyle videos. It's probably like 60% of what I watch and just 40% booktube and I just love it. I don't know. I I like watching people live their lives. I like the vlogs where you just kind of hang out with someone. I like that style of video. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, but I've got a few planned out for January and we'll see how it goes. Like for example, I did a massive closet clean out recently and I filmed that and I'm also going to be filming my personal goals video, which I would consider more of a lifestyle video than a bookish video, obviously. So yeah, just like things like that. I'm thinking like maybe one or two a month, still lots of booktube content, obviously, but yeah, sometimes I don't feel like talking about reading every single day. I mean, it's rare, but sometimes it happens. The next rule that I have is to read at least 70% adult or new adult books. As I already said, I read almost 75% adult books in 2023, so I feel like this is definitely doable for 2024, but I just want to keep it going. I want to try and stay away from young adults, although with that being said, I do have young adult books on my TBR, but 
that's fine. The next goal that I have is to read more historical fiction books. I already talked about this. I read seven historical fiction books in 2023, so I'm setting myself the goal of reading seven historical fiction books in 2024. So I know that that's not more, but like I just want to make sure that I focus on actually reading historical fiction books. Uh, the next goal I have is to read at least one nonfiction book a month. Same goal as last year. I would like to focus on reading nonfiction because I love it. Well, sometimes I've read some really bad nonfiction this year as well, but for the most part, I enjoy nonfiction and I like learning things so I would definitely like to focus on reading some non-fiction books. Again I'm setting myself the goal of reading for 30 minutes every day before bed specifically in January because I would just like to lower my TBR and read lots of things and I like the idea of the habit of reading before bed. Actually no I don't like the idea of it I like the habit because I've done it before and I really like that habit. The next goal that I have is to read 10 fantasy books. I think fantasy was actually my most read genre in 2023 so when I say I want to read 10 fantasy books I mean like high fantasy. I mean I finally want to read Jade City by Fonda Lee. I finally want to read The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin and I want to finish the Mistborn trilogy and all of that. I want to read high fantasy in the year. So yeah, when I say 10 fantasy, I mean high fantasy. And my final goal for 2024 is to read more tomes. I have a really bad habit of just reading books that are between 300 and 499 pages. And I know this from Storygraph, obviously. But yeah, I read a lot of medium-sized books. I don't read a ton of small, which is fine. I often don't love small books. I love a medium book but I mean obviously not because I had a really bad reading year last year but I really do love sinking my teeth into a nice big juicy tome and I barely ever do it so in 2023 I only read three tomes so I would like to read at least five but maybe somewhere between five and ten tomes in 2024 because sometimes it's worth it to read such a long book you get such a wonderful payoff and such a rich development of characters I used to read so many tomes and I don't know what happened but I'm just I'm just scared of them now. I actively avoid them and it's really bad because I would like to read more because sometimes they work really well for me. Anyway so those are all of my reading goals for 2024. Please let me know some of your reading goals down below. I would love to know. But that is all that I have for this video so I hope you liked it. If you did please give a thumbs up. If you're new here feel free to subscribe down below and if you made it all the way to the end leave me the fireworks emoji for New Year's. But yeah that's all so I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye! You. You. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Come on, can you do something gross? I love you. You will You'll be like, wow, such a weird guy. You in the backyard of your old farm in the summer.